So someone wanted to know how to identify the ilium and the cecum or the ileocecal valve. So I'm gonna go through these clips real quick to see if I can help with that. All right, now here's the ilium. You see how it's very similar appearance to the appendix when you compress it? So as I let go, it gets wider, which the appendix won't do. See how wide it is there, all right? And as you collapse it, it looks a lot like the appendix, all right? But it won't be blind ending, it'll just keep on going. And then this is the cecum or the beginning of the ascending colon. So psoas muscle here, cecum and ilium. So if this is the ilium going into the cecum, this would be the ileocecal valve or ileocecal junction. And the ilium, this would be the terminal ilium. And then the, the colon, the ascending colon has haustra. Well, all of the colon, ascending, transverse and descending, sigmoid, all that stuff has haustra which are like little pouches that are sometimes pretty visible with ultrasound. See, that's one right there, and that's another one right there. You'll see like little indentations in the mucosal tissue. The small bowel, whether it be duodenum, here's the appendix again, jejunum, uh, or ilium, doesn't have haustra. So here's your appendix, and right there is ilium. So the ilium is very similar in appearance to the appendix. In fact, when I first started, I had a case where I thought it was appendicitis and it was terminal ileitis. So the ilium was inflamed and it looked like the appendix. Now, if there's a lot of gas or fecal material in the cecum or ascending colon, it's going to obscure a lot of that area. So you're going to have a hard time seeing it. But if there isn't and the patient is relatively slender, you should be able to see those tissues and differentiate cecum from ilium. Now, another thing to consider, and this is usually seen in the presence of small bowel obstruction, is you'll have a dilated small bowel with these little tooth-like projections. That's plicae circularis. Here's another example. And these are more prominent in the duodenum and jejunum.